For three dazzling years, 1958 through 1960, the Ford Motor Company offered the country the Edsel, named in honor of Edsel Ford. Then they stopped. Since then, the car has been the goat for jokes and jabs. It's been called the chrome goldfish, but the term most widely used was lemon. J.C. Argo of Roberta, Georgia doesn't agree with the rest of the world. He loves Edsels. He should. He's collected 19 of them. That's a good sour lemon you want, so I guess that's what we got, eh? So uh, they're not no lemons, they're just uh, good cars, and that's all there is to it. Well, why did you imagine that they got the reputation of being such a clinker? Oh, well, I just don't have any idea why that they got that being such a clinker there. But these are real good cars, that some of them is, you know, is the first class cars. Now I have two that's got the original papers and manual books and all with them. It's never been touched with a wrench or anything. Mr. Argo has never owned a new Edsel, but nine years ago the collection just started. He's got Edsels with little six-cylinder engines and others with huge 400 cubic inch V8s. And over in the corner of the shed, a jewel among the Edsel crowd, the coveted 1960 convertible. At one time, they were the most laughed about mistake in the automobile industry, but not anymore. Still, you can't help but wonder what he's going to do with 19 of them. The good Lord let me live to get 65 years old, and I was going to retire on my pennies and come home and stay with them and fix them up and work with them and see what I could make out of them. You can have your Lamborghinis, your Maseratis, and your XKE Jaguars. And there's nothing like the sound of the true American road machine, the 1958 Edsel. In Roberta, Georgia, I'm Andy Johnston. Come on, car.